Halloween is right around the corner. And instead of handing out that sugary candle wax America has decided to call candy corn, we are going to make these. Yep, gummies. But not just any gummies. That's right, these gummies glow under black light. And yes, they're at them. Trick or treat, my glowing gummy recipe will give you both. How did I get these to glow? Witchcraft, special effects, exposure to gamma radiation from the nuclear material you got in exchange for sensitive US data. Nope. It's with, with vitamin B tablets. Now, don't go running off to Walgreens and buy anything that just says vitamin B on it. Take a bottle of vitamin B supplements and look at the ingredients. If you see riboflavin in the ingredients, buy it. That's what gives it its glow. If you're still not sure, I'll put a link in the description. Now just dump a few vitamin B tablets in a coffee grinder, also in the description. Pulverize it until it's a powder. Give it a moment for the dust to settle. Once you got it all ground up like this, get a super fine mesh strainer like this. And as a better safe than sorry routine, let's sift it to get out any of the big clumps. That's if I can aim, that is. Women are right. Guys don't know how to aim. You know, use a spoon to scoop the yellow powder into here. Now, before I make the gummies, there's something I need to confess. This is not my gummy recipe. What? This is actually Grant Thompson, the king of randoms recipe. And it's a great recipe. Because make my own gummy recipe from scratch would require so many specialty ingredients. Gelatin squares, flavoring oils. You know, I want to make this a little bit more relatable to you, the viewer. And on top of that, you'll probably end up using it once or twice. Grant Thompson recipe makes it easy and relatable for culinary beginners. Anyway, let me save yourself a click and tell you his recipe right here, right now. Grab yourself a small saucepan, one six ounce pack of jello. Oh, and here's a tip. Since the vitamin B powder is yellow, make sure you pick a color that goes with yellow. Don't get purple grape. A, it doesn't taste that good, and B, it's gonna come out really ugly. Trust me, I learned the hard way. Two packets of unflavored gelatin. Half a cup of cold water. One quarter cup of light corn syrup. And here's my contribution. One eighth of a teaspoon of our powdered vitamin B mixture. Mix the dry ingredients together and add our water corn syrup mixture. Mix everything until it's nice and even. Like I said, apart from adding the vitamin B powder, this is Grant Thompson's recipe. But I do take issue with one part. Now, if you see little lumps, clumps, or bubbles floating to the top, it's probably because you didn't start with cold water, or you heated up the mixture too fast for the gelatin to fully separate. <sighs> Grant, you're a great guy. You make awesome videos, and I hope to do a collaboration with you one day. But I'm afraid you got this part wrong. The syrup got all clumpy because you forgot to let the gelatin bloom. So, combine all the ingredients and let it bloom for about 10 minutes. Now let's turn the heat to medium-low, mix it together with a rubber spatula, and cook it until everything has dissolved. Hate to go all content cop on you, Mr. Thompson, but there's another part of the video I have issue with. And to make the next steps as easy as possible, I'm collecting the magical syrup in a condiment container. Yeah, don't do that. Instead, grab yourself a candy funnel. It's designed in a way so your hand won't be touching the molten hot syrup. Pour the syrup 
carefully into our funnel and pour it into silicone molds. Let these gummies cool at room temperature for about an hour. Afterwards, stick them in the fridge and let them go for an additional four or five hours. Once the gummy has cooled, it's time to pop them out of the silicone mold and into a bowl. Alright, after we got them into the bowl, toss in a few tablespoons of cornstarch. Mix everything together until everything gets coated with cornstarch. Now, when it looks and feels like the gummies aren't sticking to each other, time to move on to the next step. Toss them into a strainer. And sift out the excess cornstarch. Toss the gummies in a separate clean bowl. Drizzle in half a teaspoon of vegetable oil. Toss it around to make sure everything's evenly coated. Spread them evenly onto a paper plate and pat off the excess oil with a paper towel. You know, Halloween is about three things. Getting candy, egging somebody's house if they give you healthy treats instead, and scares. If you really want to freak people out this Halloween, serve them this instead of that stupid talking witch animatronic. That thing's only scary for five seconds. This has been Chase Cutton Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time.